Shalom, shalom. Could I have a drink of water from that well? Amazing. How is it that a Jew will request water from me, a Samaritan woman? Sorry, I should have said please. I could say the same of you. Do not the women of this village come and gather water in the cool of the day, but you're here in the heat. Yes. No one wants to be around me. Oh, I'm sorry. Why is that? Long story. If it's okay with you, could I still have a drink of water from that well? Am I not unclean to you? What's my vessel? Not to defile you. <laughs> Others might say that, but I tell you that it won't defile me. Instead, if you knew who was asking you for a drink of water, you would ask him for living water. Living water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, where will you get this living water? Where will you get it from? You don't even have a vessel to drop from, and this well is quite big. Are you greater than our father Jacob that dug this well? His children drank from it, even his cattle's living water. I tell you truly, if anyone were to drink of the water from this well that Jacob dug, or any well from anywhere in the world, you would thirst again. But the water that I give, with it you can never thirst again. Instead, it will well up inside of you into a spring of everlasting life. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Prabhida, you said your truth. Fine, I'll prove it to you. Do me a favor. Go find your husband for me and come back. I don't have a husband. <sighs> what you have said is true. You had five husbands. And the man you're living with right now, he's not your husband. Sir, sir, I perceive you are a prophet. But I have not come here to be condemned. I that have... is why I come alone to the well. I have not come to condemn you. condemnation. That is what Jews do. They condemn us. Yes. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Even as much as I try to make it right, I tried. I can't. Even when I try to get mercy from God, you Jews insist we go to Jerusalem to worship, but half of us worship on those mountains. <laughs> I tell you the truth, the hour is coming and has already come 
when true worshippers of my Father will not worship Him in the flesh, neither on this mountain, nor in Jerusalem. For true worshippers will worship Him in spirit and in truth. I don't believe you. When the Messiah comes, when Christ comes, He will tell us all things. Then, we we'll know. I who speak to you, I am he. <laughs> Rafi, yeah, your yeah. first husband, mistreated you. And since then, you've carried the trauma of marriage into every subsequent relationship. The man you come home to now comes home drunk every day, accusing you of things you haven't done, things outside of your control. <laughs> I have come to set people free, to give them water that they will never thirst of again. It is not a coincidence that we have met today. But you know all this is. Are you truly the Christ? Yes. And I have come to break all barriers, to remove the wall of separation between Jew and Samaritan, to take the lowly and to exalt them and to bring those who are proud down. I have come to bind the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to remove the thirst of man and give him living water. I have come to bind everything that accuses man and to unite them to the Father that they may worship him in spirit and in truth. If all you said is true, I'll tell everybody, I'll tell the orphanage that I found a man that told me everything. I'll tell him. I'll tell everybody. Spirit and truth. Yes. No more mountains. No, no more barrier. No. no more Jerusalem. No. Spirit and truth. Yes. You promise? Yes. You promise? Yes. I'll tell everybody. Come. Come. I found the man that told me everything I ever did. He told me, no more worshiping at Jerusalem. Spirit and truth. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter who you are. He will accept you. No more Jerusalem. Spirit and truth come. He told me everything I ever did. Oh, he's here. He, he did. He told me everything. He told me everything. Oh. He told me. Are you truly the Messiah? He's the Messiah Christ! You asked if I'm the Messiah. For many years, your husband has struggled with sores on his bed and has become an embarrassment. You're the breadwinner and it's been difficult for you since. After this, go back home and tell him he is well and that he will walk. He's the Messiah. Yes. My husband has been sick. Oh, God, I've been praying. Oh. Azaria, come forth. You've struggled with that drink for far too long, my friend. Be set free. I have come that you may drink. Drink of me. If you believe in me, you are spirit. And as God is spirit, you will worship him in spirit and in truth. I have come to drink, give you the water of everlasting life. I have come to reveal myself as the fountain of living life. And by revelation, drink. Drink of me and never thirst again. 
If you drink of me, the capacity in your hearts, in your bellies for this water will never reduce, but will forever increase. That you will never thirst for the things of this world. Some of you here seated are seeking for the COS. Some of you here seated do not know what you will do for your child in the next week. Some of you here don't know how to handle the affairs of home. But I tell you the truth, all these things that you seek for lay at the river bed. They lay at the bottom of the fountain. Look up and drink of the fountain and never thirst again. For from it, you will flow into every issue of life. Seek not the things of the Gentiles. Seek not the things of the Gentiles. But drink by revelation and never thirst again. If you will drink of me, you are spirit and you will worship my father in spirit and in truth. Drink and never thirst again. Drink and never the thirst Messiah, again. The Messiah is here. to taste again bow down your head and begin to say lord i drink of you tonight never ever to taste again let it flow out of my belly rivers of living water let it flow to nations let it flow to nations open your mouth and begin to say lord flow from me flow from within me Flow from within me. Say, Lord, flow from within me. Never to trust again. Never to trust again. Never to trust again. Whatever you have come with, that body, never to trust again. Never to trust again. Never to trust again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.